Hello, all the boys and girls. I'm Astir Khadavar, your spectral librarian of the macabre. And we're here to sing songs that'll startle and read books that are strange. Welcome to the Strange and Startling Story Times. Five little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. Four little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. Three little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more jumping on the bed. Two little monsters jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more jumping on the bed. One little monster jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more jumping on the bed. Zero little monsters jumping on the bed. All are asleep. Ah. In their bed. Itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and whooshed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Oh, hi, big round spider. How are you? I'm good. It's just your thing about itsy bitsy, and I like climbing spouts too. That's a good point. Would you like to climb up a spout? Yes, yes, very much. All right, let's sing about how Big Round Spider goes up the water spout. The Big Round Spider goes up the water spout. Out comes the rain and swoosh the spider out. But out comes the sun and dries up all the rain and the big round spider goes up the spout again. <laughs> was that fun for you, big round spider? Yes, indeed. That was really fun. Yay. Creepy Carrots. Words by Aaron Reynolds and pictures by Peter Brown. Thank you, Simon & Schulster, for letting us read this story. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots. And the carrots that grew in Krakenhooper Field were the best. They were fat, crisp, and free for the taking. Some of the best qualities you need in carrots. He pulled some for a, a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. That was until they started following him. Dun, dun, dun. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it, a soft, sinister, tonka, 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 of carrots. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought. But he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, tonka 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 tonka, they were there. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself. 
picked a toothbrush off the floor and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew. Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous, right? But when he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed. Creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it tonka 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 tonka. <sighs> breathing. Terrible, carroty breathing. And there, on the wall, <sighs> creepy carrots, he shouted. Dad thumped into his bedroom and they threw on the light. Nothing. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son. His dad said, shaking his head, now go to sleep. And that wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, thunka, 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 creepy, carrots, creepy, thunka, 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 thunka. Jasper was seeing them everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. I think Jasper just had an idea. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhooper Field. He laid down a perimeter line. Then he dug out a moat. He filled the moat with water. Then he cut some wood and he created a fence. As the sun finally set across Krakenhooper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no thunka thunka thunk. There was no carrot shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. He built the wall. He built the moat. He put the alligators in it. This plan was foolproof. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhooper Field, what do you think they did? Do you guys know how to speculate? Do you guys know how to guess what's gonna happen on the next page? Let me know. What is happening next? What will the carrots do? Let's find out. They cheered. Woo! Their creepy plan had worked. 
They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. Creepy carrots did it. The end. And that was Creepy Carrots. Words by Erin Reynolds, pictures by Peter Brown. Thank you, Simon Schulster.